journey. So how, when did you mm-hmm. actually started uh, working on uh, graphic designing particularly besides other art uh, skills or thing? Well, I, I mean, when, after studying, I, I thought I would become an art director. And I, I did art direction for six months at a huge international uh, agency. But I didn't like it because all I was doing is sitting in meetings and I wasn't actually doing <laughs> any work. Uh, I was just directing others to do something. And I found that uh, very hampering. So, so uh, I decided to try to see if I could try illustration. So I quit the agency after six, seven months, actually, which so was, what, yeah. yeah. Now, when I think of it, it's that was quite a bold move <laughs> when I think of it now. But uh, I'm happy I did because I'm not really into, you know, I, I want to be a craftsman and I, I enjoy being a, a freelancer, but I, I certainly have full respect for people who wants to work on, on, on big, uh, advertising agencies. It's just that uh, I'm, I'm quite happy to stay uh, out, outside of that. Okay, so what did inspire you the most? Like doing uh, illustrations and uh, go towards graphic designing and more particularly about illustrations? Yeah, I guess I'm, 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 I'm you, you know, in 1998, I did my first commission for Wallpaper magazine in, in in the yeah, UK, which was yeah, very, very, very trendy at the time. So that kind of helped me towards the direction because I, uh, up until then I was kind of, well, I might still be an art director or maybe I'm a graphic designer or maybe I'm an illustrator. I didn't quite know. But then I decided that I need to sort of choose a lane. But I, I've always done graphic design in the meantime, but I'm, I'm basically a, an illustrator, I think. Yeah, that's really good. Your work is really awesome, I, I can say. So, uh, may, may I know what, uh, what kind of uh, like wallpaper you have designed for a magazine? May I know a bit about that wallpaper? What kind of wallpaper was that and what kind of magazine was that? Well, wallpaper magazine, I still, I think it's still around, but, but it's, it was just a very, very, very trendy fashion. Uh, magazine in uh, and there were a lot of Swedes and Americans and, and uh, British people working in the head office in, in London so um, so I did sort of um, on a monthly basis for, for a couple of years maybe three years four perhaps uh, illustrations for them in, in every issue which made then I could sort of build a, a, a network with uh, different agents uh, all over the world who could represent me uh, in, in as an illustrator yeah so um right now you are working with a team or on your own you're doing illustrations by your own right yeah i'm actually i have an assistant and he happens to be my youngest son as, as a matter of fact uh, but we are the team uh, um, and so we work depending on how many commissions there are at, at a given point. Then, uh, I mean, that's kind of my main focus, but we always come up with new personal projects and, and uh, prints uh, because I, I really, I enjoy that so much because you don't have to, no one can tell you if the green color you're using is green enough. You can just decide that this is good. <laughs> so um, I really enjoy that. So most of the work you have uploaded on social media are that those are on your website. They are your own. Mm-hmm. Are they are by they are just paid project given by someone else and given by some agency to you. Well, um, sometimes. A company could contact me or a magazine or whatever they contact me directly um, and then it might be that I feel that I maybe it's a quite a complex uh, it's a complex project and then I, I contact one of my agents and, and tell them to sort things out in, in terms of timings and, and uh, quotes and stuff like that um, so then I have just I can just focus on the actual 
uh, creative process. So sometimes they contact me, but sometimes it's, it's through an advertising agency who contacts my agent and, you know, so there's a lot of people involved. So uh, when do you big... do your, yes. So when do you no, do, I was done. do your own work? <laughs> so when do you do your own work? So where do you, where do you mostly get, get inspiration from? Mm -hmm. I'm actually, when I was waiting for this call to happen, I was answering uh, some interview questions. And I always get that question and I don't have a great answer, but I get, I mean, as a creative, you're, you, you have to be, the switch has to be on all the time. And there's actually no way of turning it off because uh, I'm always sort of registrating stuff around me. It could be on a social, on social media, it could be if I watch a, a, a film or actually music is a great inspiration. But I, I, I mean, I don't see images when I listen to music, but it's, it gets me in the mood. And, and uh, actually, one good thing that I try to do every morning is to perhaps start by paying a bill or something like that. Really boring stuff. And then when that's out of the way, then I feel, oh, now I can do what I want to do. But then I don't, then I go and, and make some tea or some coffee and then I, but then after that, I'll, I'll start doing some, some stuff. <laughs> so it, it's also, you have to, because this is, I mean, as a creative, you can't wait for inspiration. You can't, because this is what you do for a living and you need to perhaps sometimes nail things in a day or so. So then you can't wait for that. You just need to, to figure out a, a, a work process which is really important so as a designer sometimes you come up with the uh, like creative creative block you say yeah mm. how, how do you come up with that if you ever gone through this block in your journey i don't uh, i don't do a creative block i guess oh what what do you mean by creative block creative block is like sometimes a designer can think of something can't do anything mm. he just spent mm. like a oh, block sorry sorry, yeah, sorry. Block. Yeah, sorry. Okay. it's fine uh, mm, um, well you just have to sit down and 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 it, that's what i was getting at if you have a work process that you know works and you have to figure out that work process i mean if if that's one advice I would give to a student is to try and, and, and figure out what your work process is like and, and uh, have a look at yourself and see what, what makes me sort of tick and what, what makes me get out of bed in the morning and, and uh, but so so but I'm stuck as, as well sometimes at some point and, and I was actually working I'm working on a project now that I've thought well this is going to be quite easy which is really dangerous to to, to think like that uh, and then I realized it's really difficult mostly because I thought it would be easy but then um, I just started working and, and, and when you do that, you don't have to be like, for instance, if I'm to do a, a magazine illustration and I don't get any ideas at all, then I just start doing something at least, maybe draw a circle or, or something and see what happens with that if I explore that. And, and, and also, I mean, I've been working for such a long time that I know my own style, which is helpful. When you start off, you don't really perhaps know what kind of style you're into. So that will take a while to figure out if, if you're uh, a young artist. So what factors do you think are necessary to do to find your own style? Well, I guess it's 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 really important to, to have a look at what other people do, but I, I found going back thinking back on when I was young, I was doing that far too much. Um, instead of trying to find my own style, I tried to emulate other people's styles and I never felt comfortable with that. And, and, and then uh, when my first son was born, then I was around 30, 29 or 30. Then I realized I, I won't be able to 
to continue working like this if I never can make my mind up what I'm what I am as an artist so he kind of helped me because uh, he didn't sleep much <laughs> at all for like three months so then I realized I have to be a lot quicker so then I just decided okay I'm I'm going to focus on sort of illustrations that are close to design really graphic stuff simple stuff mm -hmm. and I go I'm not going to do idea based illustration I mean some people are really good at that like um, if, if you're I did a, a commission the other week uh, about uh, stress in the workplace. Mm. So then I have to come up with a certain idea, but but um, I I kind of I don't dwell over it. But it's just as long as I know I can do a sort of appetizing illustration, that's probably enough. Um, obviously, I want it to be um, interesting. To look at otherwise I, i'd fail but but um back then i could sort of if i had the time i could go for days doing different sketches and I, I, at the end i just got lost and it didn't really help me so um it's difficult in the beginning i think some people are, for some people it's really easy they just have a style and then they, they do it uh, but for me it took i'm a late bloomer so it took me quite some time to, to figure out so your style mostly contains of different shapes. I have seen your illustrations, like they are so detailed, like they uh, mm. totally portray the idea, but they are in shapes. Mm. How did you get this idea of shape and they are so inspired, mm. like I'm a designer myself, not so mm. it I'm just starting out in my designing journey. Right now mm. I have studied um, graphic designing from an institute and just starting out something but I am at a very, you can say, I just, I have even started my career. So I got, I got really inspired by your designs and somehow I got the reference from them and I tried them by my own, mm. my own time. Mm. And mm. that's really difficult to even yeah, try those shapes and with like do, uh, copying your reference. It's kind yeah, of yeah, big, I know. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know, because they, they, they seem easy when you look at them, they think, oh, this is easy. But uh, I've been copied enough to know that people are struggling to, to figure out how I'm doing it. And mm -hmm. I, I'm, I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, and, but, and I won't, I can't give it away totally. But it's, it's um, I, I use, I mean, uh, the circle, the square. Yes. And maybe one or two triangles here and there, but that's sort of it. Uh, and I want everything to be in a sort of a circle or um, a rectangular way. At the end, they shape up so good and so nicely. That's really great. I really appreciate your work. Well. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm really happy to hear that because I, when you know, I'm sitting here in Stockholm at my desk and I have no idea what's happening around me. But uh, I, I mean, I know that uh, people find my work and uh, I'm always so happy to hear that it's just not people here in Sweden or in, in uh, well, in this part of the world. Uh, so it, it means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, uh, so um, I just wanted to learn, have you ever tried to do anything else with uh, besides illustration? Like I have seen your other illustrations, you have uh, done some portraits and uh, like illustrated some other things like plants and something, but your mostly uh, work is on uh, like, I can say if I can uh, pronounce it like abstract illustrations or not. Well, it's, it's, it's in a way it's, it's abstract, but it's also very concrete. I think, um, I think that my aim is to do understated illustration that still is, is interesting. I mean, I mean, sometimes they're quite detailed, but, but some are really, really basic, super basic, which is the most difficult thing you can try, uh, because it's, it's, it's like a knife's edge. If you, if you, if you I, I often, I tend to in my work process I have an idea uh, and perhaps I do a pencil sketch but it's depending on what I'm doing 
but uh, just to to check out if 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 I, I can get a great composition or so. Uh, but then I start working uh, in Illustrator, and I tend to add detail after detail until I, I think this is far too much. And then after a while, I start reducing and taking away uh, as much as possible again. And then when I find the sort of the right level, then I, I, I leave it. If, and if I can, I, I return to it and see uh, if I made the right choices. And, and so it's, it's actually, my images might appear to be quite simple and, and easy, but I'm doing a whole bunch of, of sketching. A lot, a lot more than you could expect. So uh, it, it's still time consuming. So what do you think, like uh, designing, uh, like sketching before designing, how much it, uh, it like uh, implies an impact on the design? Well, um, I, I think you have to explore every possible way that you can think of. But at the same time, I mean, it's like if, if you make a musical composition, you, you, I mean, if you have sort of a, a very nice idea of oh, this sounds really, really great, then you shouldn't mess it up by adding too much other stuff because then you probably won't have a hit. But uh, so it's, um, well, what was the question? <laughs> I lost myself in music. Fine, you said okay. Okay, I was asking. Uh, you said you sketch before you design. Yeah. So mm. I was asking, like, if I am a designer, then I will I know. know, like, how much impact a sketchy a sketch does before a designing. Yeah, I would say that something that I learned when I went to art school, which I, I've always clinged on to, and I'm trying to teach other uh, designers, is you you do like a, a sketch that is no bigger than a, a stamp like a couple of centimeters because if, if it works there then I, I, should, I promise you it will work as a poster or uh, an illustration magazine illustration or ad or whatever so it's really really great to do that but 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 then you have to expand it and make it bigger and, and bigger um, because you want to get some details in there but the, the, the sort of stamp sketch is the basis for everything so, so that, I think that, that one of the best adv advice is I, I got when I went to design school this is great and this is really very helpful uh, may I know what kind of what mediums you, you use are you using Adobe Illustrator or other um, like mediums for illustration uh, basically Illustrator and, and sometimes uh, I do like uh, but that's not that common anymore but I could sort of use um, a cut paper or ink and stuff like that and then I scan it uh, but at the moment, I mean, in, I guess I have a style that's recognized and people expect me to do that all the time. So if I want to do something different, then I have to do it on my own and then sh sort of get it out there. And then it takes like three years for people to, to uh, acknowledge that. Because I found that it always takes three years if you do something that's sort of out of the box. You mentioned like teaching the students like well, before you mentioned student then you mentioned teaching are you teaching arts somewhere are you do sessions or uh, no i i i've uh, i teached but i i i didn't really think that i was it wasn't really my thing actually i can talk about it even though i find it it's always difficult to explain uh stuff like this but i can talk about it but I wasn't really that into teaching, to be honest. So, uh, what's the Swedish, Swedish, Swedish students are really spoiled, so that's why. <laughs> so, when a person wants to learn from you, or wants to, um, if if I if I quote my example, if I wanted to learn something from you, like start, if I'm at the very start of my journey, I want to learn something mm. from your style, from whatever you have in your knowledge. Can you teach it to me or other students in Pakistan or in the institute 
if it's convenient for you. Yes, uh, yeah. I, I've, I've done also, uh, I did a mentorship for, for a, a young illustrator, illustrator that was kind of, she was kind of lost in her style. So I helped her to, to develop her own style, which was really interesting. And now she's uh, a best-selling uh, Swedish, uh, she, she, she does uh, children's books. So, uh, uh, so I'm just waiting to, to cash in on the royalties, but I, I don't think, I... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, so I, I really love to, you know, help people in the process, but it's also perhaps a matter of how much time I can offer. Of course, because it's, it, I'm quite busy at the moment, most of the time. So, uh, my another question is, uh, how much do you think the environment impacts, like your surrounding and your environment, or whenever you go somewhere, how much in, it impacts on your designs and your thoughts, your ideas? I'm, 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 I'm sure it's, it's a lot. I'm sure it is because. Um, I was once asked by a journalist who, who asked me, and I didn't realize it realize it back then, but, but he, he kind of referenced my illustrations as being sort of, uh, you know, reduced and, and uh, stuff like that. And, and, and I told him that, that I was born in, in, and raised in, in near the Arctic Circle in Sweden, where, where there's, I mean, I lived in a very small city um, and I get kind of, and it could be. I mean, if you wanted to to uh, to go to another city, you could. You had to travel for quite some time. So it was sort of a scarce in a way, which perhaps have has affected me in my work. And also, I, I know, and I did realize this uh, when I was had been working for like ten years that I was really I was using the colors that we had in our summer house. My mother was really into, to, you know, home design and stuff like that. Uh, and I hadn't realized that until like after 10 years. <laughs> so, so, which was odd, but I, I'm sure it does. And, and obviously if I would live in, in, in uh, Islamabad, I would, uh, that would affect me immen immensely, I think. I don't know how, but I, I'm, I'm sure it would. Yeah. You, I have seen you. Uh, you have started selling your work online, like your mm. different sites. They are. So, uh, what do you think? How much time it will take a designer to go into that process, like selling selling his or her work online? Yeah. Well, I guess so far I have decided not to have my own shop because I'm selling everything through. Uh, different uh, e-commerce stores and, and I get a royalty. O obviously, I would make more money if I did it myself, if I, I printed and, and packaged and sent it. But I know that would be a constant headache for me because, well, that's not... I, I have friends who, who are doing that, but they say it's really tough because it takes so much time. Um, so I, I decided to, to earn less, but to be more free, which I guess is somewhat a theme because I, I, I chose not to work as a well-paid art director in, in an agency and, and I, I've chosen to limit problems as, as much as I can because it's, it's, the world is, uh, is problematic enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you started working internationally, right? So mm -hmm. um, the, what, what do you suggest, like a person like me? How can mm -hmm. I start my international level? Like I do, I do my designing. In mid level yeah. or whenever I found my own style, then I would mm -hmm. go for, what do you suggest? Like then I would go for international level? Uh, like right now, when I'm very start of the journey. Well, I guess I mean it's so the, it's the business is so different now compared to what it was back then. But uh, I guess if you if you're an illustrator, you could always send your portfolio, digital portfolio, to 
uh, agencies to to uh, illustrator agencies and perhaps even advertising agencies if you get hold of the right person um, but it's it I think it's I don't know what it's like over there but over here it's quite tough to even get a foot in in the door so so um, but also your your I guess your your presence on social media is important and how you uh, I'm not really I mean some people are really good at that and, and uh, I don't I, I show for me it's more a, a way of showing look I did this uh, have a look that's what I do but I, I, I'm certainly aware that there are a lot uh, better ways of doing that um, but so that's important but I, I, I guess your students would know that better than I do um, but also I mean for me it, it it only takes one person who is important enough who, who who trusts you and that's kind of what happened to me in when I was approached by wallpaper magazine uh, they had a uh, an, an editor who really wanted to work with me and and if she hadn't been around I guess I wouldn't have been working internationally that's the, the the truth of it but then when you get the chance then you have to because quite a lot of people get get the opportunity but you have to figure out a way to 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 maintain that sort of uh, interest around your work and and then if, if this right person sort of approves of your work then others will will do it uh, quite rapidly <laughs> so then you get other clients uh, so I'm I, uh, I, I, I'm not an expert on what it looks like now, but I, I would say that social media, of course, is important. And I also have uh, <laughs> when I went to to uh, art school, one of my teachers said, "Well, the, one of the most important things in this business is don't be an idiot." And I kind of laughed at laughed at it but then I realized what it was talking about it's it's about respecting other people and for me it's super important to uh, keep deadlines to uh, do as good a job as possible and I think it's important to be nice to people uh, but then if they're not nice to you well they're bad they're bad I just try to to do my work as, as professionally as I can this so, is really professional advice, great professional yeah. advice you can give me. Yeah. So what factors do you think like young artists shouldn't do? What things they don't do at the very start of their journey? I don't know. I mean, it's up to every individual, but there, there are there are always if you, if you if you work on commercial work, there will always be clients that you need to have a think about should I work for these people should I should I for instance I mean uh, I don't smoke and and you see very little commercials for, for, for tobacco in, in in this part of the world but um, I have been asked about that several years ago and I turn it down because I, I I just don't like it so you have to think of what you're doing and and sometimes it's tough i mean um it could be uh, environmental issues that you're worried about and then you have to decide is this something i want to support but i guess your your, your question is wider than that but i mean you have to sort of establish a line uh, an ethical line and then based on that you can it's much easier to, to, to take on work and then you don't have to ask yourself, oh, should I do this or not? But but on the other hand, you might need the money, which I fully understand. So it's really tough choices. At, at, but uh, a principle doesn't cut, someone said this sort of, uh, a principle doesn't cost you anything until you, you have to say no. Um, so, uh, but, and it's easy to say, follow your heart, but what, what the hell does that mean? I don't know, but you, you sort of had to have a, a compass 
it could be a moral com- compass, but it, but it could also be maybe you know that I am really good at I want to do animations, and then turn that into something that you can strive for, and perhaps don't do stuff that that you know. And this is something. This this is a theme all over. Uh, if you, if you know if you have get a feeling that this might not be such a great, it will never be a nice image or stuff like that. But then you have to think about: is it worth it? Because I am getting paid, and perhaps it is. But you should know that it's probably nothing. It's something that you don't want to to show to other people. And I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that or you should, but it, you just need to have a think about that. And and because it's having a career is not uh, a, it, it, that's really a marathon. You have to think ahead, and you have to. It, it, it's, I mean, you don't want to be short-lived in this business, unless you find something else that you find more interesting. But if if this is, I mean, I I, I only know how to draw, so I need to. Be, I need to be professional, and I need to to think things through. Uh, maybe not on a daily basis anymore, but but quite often. I really, really appreciate your kind words and all the advice advices you have given to me, and they are really precious. I, I, they mean a lot to me, and you can understand uh, how oh, they. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm so happy to, if I can. If I if I can uh, help someone out, that's uh, great. Yes, you are doing it. Thank you so much. <clears throat> May I know uh, just for uh, like how what is your favorite project so far? Um, a kind of I I well uh, I did many years ago. I, I I was asked to do a painting for for. Uh, a big office in London. Um, so I had no idea how to do it because it was quite bad, uh, quite big, and, and not a lot of time. But then I have, had a friend who was a painter, so he had a studio. And he said, "I'll help you out. You can use the studio." And, uh, and then said, "Okay, if you help me out, then I'll, I'll uh, take you to London, and we'll go there with the painting, and we'll see to it that it, uh, it it's uh, up on the wall." So that was a super nice project and really really fun it was so great to be with my friend in London uh, so that's one and uh, I'm hoping I just actually received uh, a contract like 30 minutes ago and uh, something that we've been talking about for on and off for years a uh, French uh, uh, fashion company who would like to do stuff but i i don't want to jinx it so i can't talk about it i just we'll see what happens <laughs> but that's certainly um but I, there have been many really nice projects and it's it's hard to i'm also really really happy that uh, you know my uh, i call it uh, around the world uh, images you know with the cities and everything that that was i didn't really intend it to be anything i just did an image and 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 sort of uh, then I didn't know what, it was just sitting for several years I didn't know what to do with it but then someone said you should do we should sell these as prints and then I understood okay this could be something so and I'm so happy that I'm still working on those um, I haven't done too many in your part of the world yet but it's um, I'm getting there. <laughs> but, City That's really nice to know. That's really, really nice. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Bo. It's really, it was an amazing session with you. Amazing talking to you. I oh, really, thank you. I yeah. learned so much from you. Mm. And Good. thank you so much. Best of luck for your projects. And thank you. Great journey ahead. It's a really and, uh, talking to you. Thank you. I hope I, I, I've made some sense. And um, I'm really happy that we did this. And, and thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.